most people who don't know exactly what I do, they always think that, okay, you, you help people to be better, healthier, more successful, whatever. That's not the case whatsoever. What I do with people, we go on a journey together. We step on a path together and we try to discover together a new way. Because every human being has their own unique life story, their unique path. And I always tell people, I have no idea what we're gonna do. I have no idea how I'm gonna go about things. But the good news is I've been doing this for 30 years, so I have a pretty good track record of eventually figuring out something pretty cool that works. But I don't figure it out alone. It's always a collaboration. I was at a company maybe like 15 years ago, and what we were doing, we hooked up all the people who were working at this office to the machinery that was testing their metabolic rate. Metabolic rate is basically what your body uses up just existing, right? That's the base metabolic rate. We wanted to see how's that during the whole day. And then after the day, we showed it to the people. And basically every single individual had this flat line throughout the whole entire day. And there was one of them had like this big spike. Oh, that was when you bent down to pick up a pencil. Pencil, you know? So very important to understand that the way how you spend your day, it is incredibly important for your metabolism, how your body operates. People believe that, well, if I exercise an hour in the morning, then I kind of cover the bases and I can really take care of myself with that. Not at all. Exercising itself, if you combine it with a sedentary lifestyle, it doesn't help. It really does not help. If it would help, much more healthy people would be scooting around. Because of exercising, the word and idea about exercising is something that I think people don't think about what it is. I never stopped moving since I was a kid. That's what kind of I feel like it sets me a little bit apart because I never had a gap of time in my life since early on where I stopped running around. A kid is born, you start crawling and eventually stand up and then walking and then running and you stay, you're very active as a kid until about four. And four on society starts to stamp things on you, like slows you down, you're not allowed to throw, scream, climb, fight, do all these things, right? So slowly, human beings become less and less and less active. The school system is really not wired to encourage us to go nuts and listen to our instincts. And our instincts are wired deep inside of us to move. So, so we go off on this deep end and we don't really move very much. Now, I was very lucky that this never happened to me. I was able to stay crazy and wild when it comes to movement. And this is why what I can do physically and movement wise, it's for some people, it's kind of impressive. So sedentary lifestyle is the problem in, in many regards. So when it comes to movement and exercising, the human body is very, very special. It's an unbelievably unique device because for us to go from A to B, it takes about anywhere from five to nine times less energy than a chimpanzee. Human body is the most energy efficient mammalian body, you know, that nature created so far. So we are evolved not to use up energy. And what is exercising? Exercising is using up energy. And I think that's important to realize because people have a hard time with exercising and keeping you know, on track and being on track. And I don't think it's the people's fault. It's not like if someone can't exercise and can't motivate themselves or if they get on track and two years later they are back down in the slum and you know, not able to get themselves motivated, there's nothing wrong with that individual. It's actually a very important evolutionary step which was make ourselves very energy efficient, which is basically if you don't need to move, don't move. Save your energy, which served us during 99% of our evolutionary time, but during this past 100 years, it's a death sentence. So this is the problem. Exercising itself, the word exercising, which is you go into a gym without real meaning. It's not about to get stronger legs or nicer biceps and stuff like that. There's much more meaning behind being well. When it comes to exercising and health habits, there's a, a routine that people like to have. But routines are strange. It's very non-human. Keep that in mind. In some regards, it's very human. On the other token, it's really non-human. Because we human beings, we never really had a routine that happened 365. We had seasons. We had different animals, different plants, all kinds of stuff during different seasons, different activities we needed to do. So the reason I bring this up, because just because you have a very different day, you know, just feel free to divert away from your routine and be creative. 
and use it as an opportunity because most people when they can't do the routine they're like oh, might as well I'm not doing anything this is the mental mindset as opposed to I can't do the routine okay let's be creative what can I do today to make it different yeah. you know and then it becomes something exciting every time when you can do your routine realize that well I'm doing something very human which is being opportunistic